Tonight, we will be traveling on České dráhy sleeper train, which will take us from Prague all the way to Warsaw. I will spend the journey in Deluxe Suite, which is the best product of Czech national carrier in case of sleeper trains. It should be an interesting journey, as we will fall asleep as a part of train going to Slovakia, and then wake up on a train which is on its way to Warsaw. Hello and good evening from Prague. I'm standing in front of the old terminal building, which is in use since year 1909. It is truly impressive building. It's also much nicer than the newer terminal which is hidden beneath this structure. So if you will ever be traveling from Prague, I really suggest you to take a look here. I think you won't regret it. Let's take a look at departure board. Our train, Euronite 443, with name Slovakia, goes to Humene, which is in the eastern Slovakia. Our train will leave from platform 4, but as we have some time, I will wander around the station for a bit. Here we have a regular jet sleeper train going to Przemysl, down on Polish-Ukraine borders, so we will share one track for a while. And here we have a real jet, incoming from Graz. By the way, if you haven't seen my real jet review, you should do so. You can click on this button in the right corner. I think it's time to tell you more about our train today. Or should I say trains? As I have said before, this train, Evronite 443, is going to Slovakia. Two carriages will be however disconnected in Bohumia, which is still in Czech Republic. And then they will be connected to a Polish train called Intercity Chopin, which goes from Bohumia to Warsaw, our final destination. This train consists total of eight carriages, and our two going to Warsaw are in the complete front. So let's make our way there. But before I will get inside, let's see what will make us going today. This engine is Škoda Lokomotiv 151 with output power of 4000 kW and maximum speed of 160 km per hour. And as our departure time slowly kicks in, let's board the train finally. I will be traveling in car number 349, which consists only of bed compartments. As I firstly stepped in into the carriage, I was pleasantly surprised that everything was really clean and and it smelled so nice. And this is our room. For today's trip, I have booked compartment 10. It is a deluxe suite, which means you have your own private bathroom. And because we are departing late in the evening, the room is already set up in night mode. Before checking our room, let's quickly take a look at other type of accommodation this carriage offers. Each compartment can accommodate three people. In a classic compartment, you will find here a private bathroom, but you will find here mirror and the sink. There is an amenity kit waiting for you on the bed, and it is clearly telling you you are in deluxe suite. Inside, you will find a pair of slippers, shampoo, soap, and toothpaste and toothbrush. For a short night on the train, I think that's pretty good. In the storage packet, there are two menus and two bottles of water. And we are departing from Prague. Five minutes late, but we have a long journey ahead of us. Now let's take a quick shower and then go to sleep. I will show you the rest of the room tomorrow with some morning sunlight. Well, time for some solid sleep. So see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's currently 6.30 and I have to say, 
I had enough hours of solid sleep. The train was extremely quiet, like nothing was bumping around, nobody was talking, but a lot has changed. For example, now we are in the complete end of the train. Train change in Bohumin was also done in complete silence, because I didn't even realize it. So definitely thumbs up for this service and for the people who works in the middle of the night. And as I promised, now let's check out the cabin. I will start with bed. The mattress was absolutely fabulous, to the fact that we are on the moving train. Bed linen was also in really good shape. It felt like brand new and smelled really nice. Beneath the bed you will find some pretty big storage. I think you will easily fit there at least three smaller suitcases. There is also a power outlet which is not exactly practically placed. It is right next to the doors, so if you are charging your devices you need to be careful about cable management. On this control panel you will find light switch for the main light in the cabin, you can set the volume of announcements, temperature control and there is also this weird blue sleeping light. Doors are equipped with a big hole and two locks. They can be locked also from outside with this keycard, so you won't have to be worried about your stuff. Every window of course have a window blind, so if you want to have complete darkness in your room and don't be disrupted from your sleep, no problem. And now it's time for the, probably the best bathroom tour yet on my channel. You will find here basically the all things you would need in a normal proper bathroom. There is a power outlet, two mirrors, temperature control and some storage. It is so practically made. Shower head works also as a sink battery and sink itself can be moved using the maximum capacity of this small space. Water pressure was fabulous and the hot water was running almost immediately. So yesterday's shower was a really pleasant experience. And in case you are traveling with other people, doors can be locked also in bathroom. I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry, so let's take a look at the menu. For breakfast you have two options, choose between savory or sweet. I went for the savory one. There is also a menu from which you can buy anything and anytime you want. And after a while, our breakfast was delivered into our compartment. It consisted of coffee or tea, for me definitely coffee, yogurt and this mystery box full of food. Inside there was an orange juice, sweet snack, bread rolls and something like butter, cheese and there was also a bait. Well, what a life, what can I say? By the way, the coffee was delicious and everything was okay, so overall, pretty nice breakfast, especially with those views. And as we are getting closer to Warsaw, let's quickly check out the rest of the train. Currently on this train there is only one sleeping car, and that's where we are. The rest of the train is made by classical seat coaches. This carriage is also going with us from Prague. 
It is, however, seating coach of České dráhy. And from now on, there are only Polish carriages, going from Bohumín, under name of Intercity 406, Chopin. And our time on board is coming to an end. We are pulling into Warsaw. So let's make sure that I haven't forgotten something and say goodbye to this train. And after 13 hours, welcome to Warsaw. Now, when we have experienced everything from this train, we should talk about prices. For a single deluxe suite, I have paid 3500 Czech crowns, which equals to 150 euros. It's definitely not the cheapest options how to get somewhere. I bet that even flight tickets would be cheaper. But if you take in mind that you arrive refreshed and ready to go almost immediately, I think that's the secret value of sleeper trains. Well, this was my first time riding a sleeper train. And to be honest, I had pretty big expectations for this journey. And even though those expectations were exceeded, we arrived beautifully on time, the service was perfect, everything was clean and fully prepared, and overall, it was just a perfect journey without any mistake. I haven't tried Nijet and so on, but if you are traveling to or from Prague, you should definitely try České Drahy Night. I really hope this carrier will add some new coaches into their fleet, because traveling on sleeper trains is getting more and more popular. And that's everything from me. Thank you so much for watching.